Hi, my name is Mark Shumsker and welcome to TruePokerDealer.com. In this video I'll be teaching the mechanics of the pitch and then in a follow-up video we have the situations of the pitch. I recommend you watch this one first. Before you really watch this video, mentally prepare. It's extremely important to learn the pitch correctly. There are a lot of people that, that deal poker that they didn't learn it correctly the first time and it's just so much work once you train your body to do something to unlearn it. Some benefits you get from learning it correctly you get to deal more hands per hour, that's good for you, that's good for the house, that's good for the players. You get to avoid different types of arthritis that can result from extended dealing, such as your shoulder and your wrist. So I highly, highly recommend learning it correctly. Now let's just jump right into it. The first thing that you want to note when you pitch, your elbows, you want to be in by your sides. You don't want to be out here and you don't want to be out here. Elbows in by your sides. The next thing, the, the, the palms, face the ceiling for the most part. You can tilt them in a little bit, but it's pretty much like this as opposed to like this or like this or anything like that. Now, understand that one of the reasons for that is if you tilt the deck this way, which you sometimes see dealers do and I don't recommend it, every card you take off has that little chance of flashing and sometimes the dealer will flash every single card and the people that see it, sometimes they don't want to say anything because they get to see all the cards. So, you're in this position right here and now we're going to get a nice tight shot so that you can really see what I'm doing. Okay, so here we are. This will allow you to be able to see what I'm doing a little bit better. The first thing I want to show you, when you hold the deck, angle the cards just like this. All right? If you hold the deck flat like this, it just makes a little bit more work for you when you go to pitch the cards. Be careful when you angle it though, not to angle it so much that anything is exposed or choppy. You want it to be a smooth angle. All right, the next thing. Your forefinger is protecting the front of the cards, but note that you can't have it going up too high because if it's up too high when you pull a card off, it's going to bend like this. You want it to come off flat. This finger, this finger, this finger, and this finger are all going to be what feels how many cards it is, and it's always going to be one card, and you use these to feel. Same over here. If you grip it too much and the fingers are up too high, when you push the card off, it's going to bend and it's going to expose. You want to be careful not to do that. So you want these fingers to be right down by the actual edge with your nice angle here. Now, when you push the card off the deck, you want to push it, and this is going to be your primary pitch that I'm going to teach you. Remember, keep your elbows in like I said before, and keep your palms up so that the deck is parallel to the table. When you go like this, you're going to push, this is your primary pitch. You push the card off a little bit at this angle, you grab it right here, with your forefinger and your thumb, and then your middle finger right here is going to find a little divot that's comfortable for you. Everybody's got a divot that's a little bit different, and this is what's going to project it. When, when the middle finger goes from this position to open, that's how you project the card. So you grab it up in this upper right corner, about right here, without pushing it too far off the deck. You get this thumb out of the way, you make sure this finger's out of the way, you find your little divot with the middle finger, and you use the, the card over here as a little bit of a ramp is actually a suggested way to do it. And you just open your hand up like that. Here's your follow through. These fingers go like this. No wrist action, no arm motion, none of this stuff. It's just push the card into your hand and you open your finger up and you push it with your middle finger. One more time, I'll do it slowly. Push the card out and you open. Push the card out, open. Notice I'm grabbing the top right corner like I said. Push the card out and you open. Now ideally you want, you want to be open a little bit more than I am with my hands. Open. Oh, it's okay to miss sometimes, especially when you're practicing. Do not expect to get this right away. If you feel like you got it right away, congratulations, you're one of the few. Push the card out and open. Push the card out and open. Now, you want, if, if you're grabbing too hard with your thumb and your index finger, that's going to make it so that when you push the card, it's going to bend up. It's a loose grip with these fingers, real loose. And then as you push your middle finger out to propel the card, you release with these ones. The timing of it's pretty tough to get used to, just like that. Now I'm going to show you another grip as well. Maybe you can learn this one if you're having trouble with the one I just showed you. Ultimately, it would be great if you could learn how to do both because of the situational pitching that may prevent you from pitching the same way all the time. You'll understand that when you watch the follow-up video. 
but if you push the card more off the deck and you grab it toward the center, a little bit above center, and you get your middle finger back here on the card, you're going to be able to project it more easily out of your hand without actually having to, to keep it on the deck. You can project the card easier this way. Now you can do it this way too, but there are some situations where you may need to, say the felt that you're working on isn't that good and, and the card doesn't glide on the felt at all, and you may need to get more distance on it, you can do so by grabbing toward the center of the card. And this way, it, it allows the card to project right around itself a little bit better. There are a few other situations where it's good to learn that. I highly recommend learning this way first, where you grab the top corner of the card. And once you get this down pretty good, you might want to consider also teaching yourself the other method, which is grabbing toward the center of the card. This one's a little bit slower. That's why you don't learn it the first time. When you grab the center of the card, it's slower. The top corner is quicker. Top corner is very quick. And look how little motion there is. There's almost no motion with my wrist, and there's certainly no motion with my arms. All right, so now we've gone through the mechanics. It's going to take some time to learn. Don't worry about that side. Put the time in. Go back and watch the video again to make sure that you're doing it correctly and check up to see if you're really doing what it is that you should be doing. Now, one more thing. I didn't show this, but if you want to pitch over there instead of just straight ahead, you really want to swivel chair. Swivel chair is a good thing. You really want to turn your body in the chair and pitch in that direction. If you pitch in front of you, pitch just in one direction all the time, turning your chair. You can't do that 100% if you really need to pitch over here. Sometimes you're going to have to go like this, but we'll teach that stuff in the situations. Chair. Always, always try and keep yourself as centered as possible. Now, it's time to watch, if you are interested, the situations video for the pitch. I highly recommend that. My name is Mark Shumsker. This is TruePokerDealer.com. Thank you very much.